you guys. Date night Osaka. Date night. <laughs> We're a family of seven. We are traveling around the world with our five kids. All under the age of 11. We are called the Seven Wayfinders. We sold and packed everything and left in order to find our new life. Deep into the wild. All right, guys, we love dating. It's a passion. And so everywhere we go, we date. There wasn't like a ton to do for date nights in Osaka, no. other than going down to the Shinshibashi area, which we went to every single time. Yeah, by the Running Man. <laughs> by the Running Man, which we Basically. don't understand why the Running Man is. Yeah, right. I think it's just that everyone recognizes it. Maybe. Yeah, it's just so. like a symbol. One of the first things we did was we went to a local shop to get ramen that was open until like four in the morning. Yeah. And you could go there I at think it was pretty like much any time. Yeah, only two hours a day. Yeah, it was. Gluten free ramen. It does exist yeah, somewhere. So we actually rode our bikes down there. We did. It was awesome. Osaka is uh, really big on bikes. Everyone bikes, yeah, even yeah. ladies in high heels and fancy gowns. Yeah, ladies wear high heels doing everything. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if their track runners wear high heels yeah. while running. <laughs> hey, check out all these bicycles. Bikes are the way to go until yours gets impounded. Yep. Like mine. Hey, guess what, guys? Today, in trying to get a Japanese taxi driver to understand something, I spoke Portuguese to him. As if that would make sense. <laughs> you he did. still didn't understand. <laughs> so, as far as I'm concerned, I went the extra mile and he didn't. <laughs> tell him what you said. I, I'm not gonna. Come I on, said, tell I him. Said, it was good. I was trying to say, it's right here, it's right here. And because I speak Portuguese, I was like, a key, a key. I know, <laughs> it's right here, it's right here. And he was still like, <laughs> No difference to him. Yeah. <laughs> and we went down to the ramen. The ramen shop was great. You actually select what food you want outside in a little vending machine. Mm -hmm. It gives you tickets and you walk in and you give them the tickets and you sit you down and then they, there. yeah, you pay outside at the vending machine. And then you sit down and they dish you up and it was really good. It was really good. It was good. really good Chris ramen. could eat ramen all day. Yeah, it's really good. Carb, 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 best. I got a Coke. I got a Coke. I got a Coke. Hey, 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 hey. We're in. Running Osaka. Man Square, Osaka. We're in, I don't know if it's Dotenbury or Shinshibashi or something like that, but we're near the Gilko Running Man. While we were in Shinshibashi, on a different night, we got some Kobe beef. Yes. It was really big. tasty. Mm. Very expensive. Yep. Just to give you some reference, that top one is $50. $50. $50. <laughs> Oh, is this your ramen? Oh, that looks pretty good. Huh? Thank you. See it, baby. Oh, man, this looks delicious. I think Chris is excited. <laughs> Mm. Oh my gosh. How's it on the ramen scale? I might be traveling back to Japan just for the ramen. <laughs> He's really loving the ramen. Ramen for breakfast, ramen for lunch, ramen dessert. Yeah, so w would you say it was worth it? Um, I was glad I tried it one time, but I wouldn't spend that much again. Totally agree. They eat it raw a lot, so they have sushi made with Kobe beef. Yeah, I don't even... We didn't touch that. Ugh. And they have like tartare where it's like, you know, ground up with stuff. We didn't try that either. No. But there's really fun food stuff down there and I really love the huge, uh, remember like the, si the signs, like the huge like 3D models. It's so cool. <laughs> you know, Saka is good for walking. Yep. Super, super safe. Really a little bit boring. 
honestly, for us. Yep. What's your saying about Osaka? It's like a senior citizen center, <laughs> truly. I mean, truly. it is so slow. <laughs> Unless, of course, you just live the nightlife, which is kind of like, mm, you know, that's not really our game as far as like drinking and yeah. other adult stuff. So because of that, we would typically go out and get food, smooch, talk, and we'd come back. We tried to go to a couple movies, but that's kind of weird there too. Don't, yep. don't try and take your kids to movies yep. there. Pretty hard. It's kind of hard. They won't let them in after a certain time. So even in summer that's not that exciting, we still did. That's right. And still had fun. We got ready for Chris's birthday. Happy birthday to Chris. Mm. Happy birthday to Chris. Happy birthday to, to Christopher! Me. Happy birthday to, to Chris in Osaka! 27! 27, yeah. If you believe that, then <laughs> we have some other products for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we found that Lincoln is our fellow birthday lover. He's aware of everyone's birthday for like a week and reminds everyone every day. It's really cute. <laughs> He loves birthdays. <laughs> he loves birthdays. <laughs> we went to Universal Studios. That's right. And I got to be Dumble Dad. And I was first bold a mom. That's but then right. I changed it to Professor Mom Gonagle. Because I like Professor her better. Professor Mom Gonagle. <laughs> Depends on the mood she's in at the time. It's true. Oh no, it's Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. She who shall not be named. <laughs> so let's talk really quick. Because sometimes we get asked. How do you handle birthdays while you travel? And it is a little tricky, not gonna lie. You can't meet all the normal expectations of a birthday. Uh-uh. You had a birthday, say thank you. You basically we, made it. We can't really gift that much, or at all, because we can't really carry it. We have everything we already need, otherwise we would already have bought it. So it's a little untraditional in that way, Sometimes we don't even know like where we're gonna eat that day or what. Like especially if we're traveling that day, like on Lincoln's birthday. Check out that video. I had no idea what we could even eat that night. So same thing with Grace's birthday in Vietnam. It was a little bit of a disappointment for me. We were at a hotel by the airport and all we could find was like a super traditional Vietnamese restaurant. And I cried a little bit for my baby girl's second birthday. But she was she was emotionally compromised. I was. I was. Anything to do with Grace that isn't perfect is emotionally compromised. <laughs> that is true. I have to gift those non-material items. Yeah, like, like tech. I love you. Yeah, like tech. And how awesome you are, not tank. <laughs> I had my two purposes in life. One, to help with the children. To father the children. To help father the children, which was a very important and arduous task. <laughs> and two, to choose the right tech. <laughs> so we went to Universal Studios. They have an incredible Harry Potter world. It was so much fun. Yeah, and so check out that video. Even in Japanese, it was a blast. It was, it was. It is hilarious to see how many people are excited about Harry Potter world. Yeah. Anyway, happy dating to all of you. We're about to celebrate date, date, our date. 15 year anniversary. 15. And we attribute dating to a lot of our success. Ooh. <laughs> and it's now time for you to go away. <laughs> Bye.